Okay, hello and namaste. Uh, I've been working on my bags, so kind of a quick update. I did get my big balloon bags July 5th, so I'm um, still working with it. There were some issues. I'll actually show it to you, but I wanted to kind of, um, I've got everything done. I've got all my straps in, my clips, my adjusters. So I've got everything finished and going to try to um, show these again and see how you like them. I've played with them a little bit traveling. At home, I've been mostly focusing on the big bag because I've got a lot more time. I've got 14 years into that. But this was the bag that I found in Thailand. Uh, so I actually saw it. It was just in with a bunch of other bags. Went, oh, that's a little balloon bag. And ended up buying some and then uh, had some more shipped back home. The problem is, is it wasn't, it's not for balloon bags. It's actually for something else. But it works really well for the balloon bags. The only thing I had to do was figure out a strap and then also a pump holder. So I actually designed a small pump holder for the bag. So I will actually just show you this first. And this is the little bag that I have. Move that out of the way. So that's my little mini balloon bag. It has a little pump holder here. This actually has a uh, like a plastic strip to keep it open. So very easily you can drop the pump in there. Also has pen holders all the way around the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, so seven or about. There's also belt loops on here. There's actually a belt loop, so if you wanted to wear it on a belt on your side, like a holster, you could do that as well. I also had a wider pocket, a shallow pocket for small business cards. That goes in there as well. So this is a very nice little thing. I got the straps. I ended up, uh, it can be an over the shoulder bag, or you can even use it almost as a fanny pack and putting it as a belt, using the strap as a belt. So what I ended up doing is I ended up putting two of the adjusters on it so you can make it really, really short. With the one, it just didn't get so short. So with the two, it gets really short. And then you can literally wear it as a pack there, on right there. So you have easy access. The one thing difficult is the pockets. There's other pockets on the body side here, so you kind of do have to go in. But if you just use the main pockets, it's great. All right, so let me just kind of briefly go through this really quick as well. And so you have one center pocket. The sides actually snap together to make it thinner if need be. The center pocket, I usually just keep a bunch of assorteds. But then also the center pocket has two zippers where it'll divide up into three sections. So the, the center compartment is actually three different sections, an open section in the middle and then two zippered sections. So the best way I can do it with the 260s, which works out really well, is I keep similar colors separated. Like if you have the, um, the crystal, the quartz purple and black and chocolate brown, those are really, really hard to, to keep separated. So what I have here is I keep my, my dark browns, my mocha browns, my blushes, and even my clears in there. And then in the other pocket, I have black, white, and gray, and then assorted here. And then throughout the front, you have smaller sections. You've got four smaller pockets in the net, and then you have two larger pockets in the back. And in the front, on the other side here, you have basically two larger net pockets and then two smaller pockets. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 pockets in here. And then you've got all the pen pockets. So really nice little mini balloon bag. Works out really well. It comes in a variety of colors. So I've got light pink, light blue, red, dark pink, yellow, purple, orange, and black. So those are the colors I have of those. And I do have a bunch of these made. And kind of these were some of my scrap material I had in Nepal when I was working on the big bag but these are all different colors. So I will try to match up the best I can for the colors. As far as the straps go, they're all rainbow. So if you want, basically you just buy two yards of black. Nothing is sewn on this. So the clips actually are just slide on and then these are slid on as well. So if you don't like the rainbow, that's all I got, I'll send it to you. But uh, you can always pick up just regular old strap and that could be the belt. Or you can have just, if you want to just have this, you can put that on your belt, or you can basically put this on a shoulder strap and use it another bag. One of the things I have found out with my new bag is I really like having this just for the pump, putting the pump in. So I've actually taken my larger balloon bag, clipped that to the front of it. Not only can I use it for scrap, I can actually throw all my scrap pieces in there, 
easily accessible, easily visible on the bottom. I can take out and pick out small little pieces I need for balloons. Also, I can keep the pens in there as well. So that's a nice little feature. So I do have a bunch of these as well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll, in the comments below in that, I will post different um, prices as far as the whole set. Um, I am going to sell these individually and then the strap. So I'll have everything broken down into different prices. So, And I'll sell them as a set for a little bit of a discount. And then if you want the individual pieces, I'll be prices for those as well. So let me just kind of show you the big bag. That's the big bag I'm using. So I've been testing it out. There's things I like, there's things I don't like. I'm still working with my factory in Nepal to kind of tweak it and to organize it a little bit better. But that is what I'm currently using. One of the problems I'm having is I'm not happy with the material. So that's the first thing we're gonna we're gonna work on finding newer material. But I do like, I do have all the little eyelets in here. I can easily reach in. I can see the balloon on the outside. I can reach in and then pull out that same balloon out of these pockets with just two fingers. So that seems to be working out fairly well. But um, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be tweaking it. Still a work in progress, still working on it. But I like it, it's nice. It's got a nice flap over it. Everything is waterproof. It's got the, the big strap. This is, oh, I love that. Nice and soft. So clips on and then it's carryable. So it's got some zippers. There's some things that I may, I think I went a little overboard on it. So there's things we're gonna change and things that we can adjust on it. But that's the big bag. All right, so thank you very much. I will talk to you guys later. I wanna make some balloon videos now.